Hey guys, good morning from Foggy Bottom. Yeah, it looks like Capitol Hill, but this is actually the campus of George Washington University. In fact, a lot of these places are student residence or just places with giant skeletons. <laughs> that siren you hear is Engine 23, just up a block. I am on one of the few streets in this part of town where you don't have to pay for parking. Yeah, you can park here for two hours for free. A little bit longer if you're willing to risk it. And we are just out and about going to get a bagel. Then we're going to go to the White House. Got a helicopter departure. Then we're going to go around the city. Just have some fun like we used to. Uh, look at that big truck. Uh, not much else exciting going on today. Yeah, oh, I just got paid for my photos for the last three months. So I'm feeling saucy. Maybe we'll go out and treat ourselves to a good hamburger. Um, not much going on in Washington. Biden is off to probably Milwaukee and then Philadelphia. He'll be back late tonight. I'm not going to cover the return. Harris is still out of town. She's in New York. I think she's doing the Howard Stern show today. And the Congress is, of course, out of session. So let's wander about D.C. All right, well, can't be on the campus of the university without seeing this. These are police cars here for a possible protest. Well, actually, there is a protest scheduled today at 3 o'clock on the campus of GW. Uh, last year, they occupied this area. Uh, they got a big fence around it today. And uh, we've got police presence out on the streets. I uh, guess they're just getting ready. There you can see not only they have they got security over there, and of course DC police, CDU teams, civil disturbance units. All right, no, we're not going to Chipotle. That was a Chipotle yesterday. We're gonna go get a bagel. So this is the Western Market. I'm taking you to Eastern Market on the other side of town. Western Market isn't quite the same as Eastern Market, except the guys rush. Whoa, look at that. Look at all those chips. That's insane. Mmm, chips. <laughs> all right. Let's cut through here because there's a bagel shop here. And they got a lot of little uh, cafes, restaurants, food court here. This is where I get a Duke's burger right over there. It's pretty good. And then the pizza place I go to, Andy's Pizza, is down here. That's actually a chain in the D.C. area. There's a couple of Andes. And here we go. Bullfrog bagels. That's kind of what I wanted. Bullfrog bagel. Oh. Okay, guys. We got a bagel. We got an orange juice. And we're headed to the White House. Mm. Pretty chewy. I like chewy bagels. This is me after I drop my bagel on the ground. I still have my orange juice, but no more bagel. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we are without a bagel. <laughs> yeah, but we are in the White House. We've got a helicopter leaving in about an hour. Biden is currently in the uh, presidential daily brief. That's the security briefing that goes on in the Oval Office. After that's over, he'll have a meeting on the hurricane response. That'll be in the Roosevelt Room, and then he's going to come right out and uh, get on the helicopter, which means we're going to get Oval Office departure, which means we're not going to get a great picture, and he's probably not going to talk to us. When he comes out of the Oval, he rarely ever talks to us. But maybe because of the hurricane, he might uh, come over and tell people, hey, take cover. This is going to be a big one, isn't it? So there you go. Yeah, Marine is on station, meaning he is in the Oval Office. Let's go find our ladder, which should be easy to do since we cleaned this up the other day. There it is. But well, my tape is coming off. I need to get new tape. Now I'm just going to take it off. The P6 tape has had its day. I'm the only black ladder anyway. Everybody knows it's mine. There's a lot. Thanks. All right, he's right over there. And we got to go get in position behind these guys. 
But flowers. I'm wider than normal right now. <laughs> oh, we got a rope line. He could rope line. Oh, yeah. Go here. Right here? Yeah. Uh, actually, look to your right, because these guys are going to go up. There. This is probably your best. Exit. He's skipping us, he's skipping us. Okay guys, we've had to quickly abandon the White House. We've got a fire call down at the Foggy Bottom Metro, which is just down the street. We also have a hazmat call at the Kennedy Center. Chloringly, a couple people might have been injured at the Kennedy Center. So we grabbed a bike and we're making our way across town. We got about four blocks to get to the subway. Let's see what's going on. I still hear sirens. Oh, there he is. Engine 28. He had to come from way up on Connecticut Avenue to get down here. So he's probably fourth new or something. Cut up to H Street. Yeah, this is a one-way street, but, but we're on a call. We're on a mission. There's the cops still. All right, let's follow this fire truck. It's a bit tricky because most of the units in this area were already on a call at the Kennedy Center. That's why they're coming from other parts of town. Well, he's on standby. And the next block. Time, don't Hug off. There we go. Engine 29. Smoke on the mezzanine was the call. Let's see if there's smoke pouring out. Usually the National Guard responds to this too. They're hazmat uh, chemical teams.
All right, we are on scene. I, don't know where I do smell smoke. See another photographer over here. What do you got, Tony? What do you got? Firemen. So we have left the uh, foggy bottom. That's just a small trash fire. We're now making our way over to the Kennedy Center, which is just over here. It's still a hazmat. Uh, we just got where there's a public information officer there. He'll tell us what's going on. That's the Watergate Hotel, by the way, where the break-in took place. And that's the old Howard Johnson's, where the burglars had their command post, and then turned off their radios and didn't hear what was going on. So that's why they got caught. The building over there is the Saudi Embassy. And there used to be a big homeless camp over there. They cleared it. Oh, we got it halfway. Oh, fire truck clearing down there. That's Tower 3. All right. Uh, maybe they've cleared. Let's go see what we can see. I've got another photographer with me. He's on another bike. There's a bike rack down here. I can dump the bikes too, which is good. All right, where are these guys? Are they in the front? Are they in the back? I think they went down the back. I think they're down here. And I don't see anything. What the sus? Yeah. Oh yeah. No. Uh, you know what? We can go this back door. They must have cleared. Maybe they cleared by now. All right, we found the trucks. They're down here. I'm not sure what they're doing all the way down here. There's the hazmat crew. Oh, I got it. Oh. So let's take a picture of this. It's out here on Rock Creek. They've got the uh, road blocked off, and uh, they're in this area here. I guess that's where the incident took place. All right, so it's inside this, like, parking garage, I guess. All right. These cars coming out. Interesting. Okay, guys, it's uh, afternoon. Listen, I haven't spent a lot of time in the other parts of D.C. the last 48 hours. Uh, been busy over here, but it is insane, all right? In the last eight days, we've had 11 murders in D.C. Yeah, 11 people dead in eight days. One of them was just shot on Capitol Hill, uh, 7th and I, about an hour ago. And I'm not sure I can get over there in time, but I might try to make it over there. But we're supposed to get to supposed to go to Foggy Bottom and shoot another protest, so I'm not really sure. We'll figure this out. Okay, guys, we have made it to the Capitol Hill neighborhood, uh, also known as H Street Northeast, and this is where we've had a fatal shooting, the 11th murder in eight days here in Washington D.C. You can see just up ahead they've got the road closed, police tape, uh, units all over the place. Let's go see what we can see. Up there, I don't know if that's the coroner's vehicle or not. I thought it was on 7th Street, to be honest, but I think they moved the call over to 8th Street. Okay. We uh, think we've come up to the crime scene now. I Street, 600, 700 block of I. Forensics is here. Let's see what we can see. Okay, so behind there, that's the crime scene back under that tent. Still investigating uh, what happened. 
is the 11th murder in eight days. Have I said that like six times? Because it's so ridiculous. Okay, so police are expanding their perimeter, uh, pushing me back, basically. I got my photos, that's all I need. Uh, one dead. I'm not sure if he got shot there or moved there from another intersection. All right, guys, we're back on Capitol Hill where, not Capitol Hill, Foggy Bottom, George Washington University, where this uh, protest has started. The students have walked out of class as well. Some of them have. Uh, police have blocked off the road up ahead. We'll go take a look and see if there's anything worth taking a photograph of. Um, I don't know. We've got to go film my son's soccer game in about 35 minutes, so we'll see. maybe 100 200 I'm glad they went straight because my car is down here and I would have got stuck all right let's go to something else okay guys that is whatever day it was Tuesday yeah Tuesday in Washington DC kind of busy uh, I'm off the clock now going to a soccer game take pictures of my kid much more fun thanks a lot for watching I see you tomorrow no idea what we're gonna see well just tune in and we'll find out